Welcome to the Brass Sand Woodwind Shop. When you do a repad on a flute and you have all the keys off the instrument and then you have all the corks and the pads off of the keys, that is a good time to polish the keys because you can do it without damaging the corks or the pads. Polishing the keys is very similar to polishing the body of the instrument, so look in the description below for a link to the video on polishing the body of a flute. I have the corks and the pads taken off of the keys, and you can see that there's a lot of dirt and oil and dust underneath the bottom sides of the keys and in the cracks. I have a strip of the green cloth, and it has some tarnish shield on it, and I'm going to use that to polish the keys. You take the cloth and fold it in half at one end and put it in the chuck. And the reason you put it in the chuck is so that you can hold it out in the open so the keys are easier to work with. Take one of the keys and put it on the rag and work it back and forth and you just keep working it back and forth until you get the whole key polished. And you just need to remember what you've already done and do what you have not done yet. And around this area here, sometimes it's hard to get, so what you do is you take the cloth and put it on the key like that and that gets in the cracks. This cloth has a hard time getting on the inside of the indentation on the pad cup. So the way you do that is take your finger, put it on the other side of the cloth and put the key over it and work it back and forth a few times and that cleans inside of that indentation. And then look at the key and make sure that you've gotten all of the tarnish off of it. And if you have, then you're done. Put that one off to the side and take the next key. The ones with the multiple keys are a little harder to do because the parts move around and there are a whole bunch of things on there that the cloth can get stuck on. But do it the same way. It just takes a little longer to do it. And you have to make sure that you get into all the cracks. And there are plenty of little cracks and crevices on these keys. When you do these keys, they want to move around. So what you do is you hold on to both of the keys as you're doing it. And that keeps them from moving around. And I'm getting the inside of the pad cups again like that. Just work the key back and forth over the rag until the key is shiny. The knock pins and the spring cradles will try to catch onto the rag and rip it so try to avoid putting it directly over the spring cradles and the knock pins and go around them but not directly over them. When you're done inspect the key again and make sure it's polished over the whole thing and grab the next key. Once you've done this several times, you get faster at it, and you can finish up these keys pretty fast. It probably takes, I'm going to say, about 10 to 15 minutes, if you've had a lot of experience doing it. If you're new to it, it will take longer, and you'll probably end up ruining some of these cloths in the process. But they are disposable, so if you get holes in them, see I already have a hole in this one. So if you get rips in them and they, they break, then just replace the cloth and start with a new one. That key is done. It's about 15 minutes later and all the keys are polished. And here is the rag. You can see that it's kind of torn up and stretched out a bit. And my hands are very dirty. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have not yet watched the first video in the series about polishing the body of the flute, I will leave the link in the description below.